in a sector that is reinventing itself in response to unprecedented changes in the global energy market, the Laclede Group is responding with a transformation of their own. In three short years, they have more than tripled their enterprise value, expanded their geographic footprint, and added nearly one million natural gas utility customers. Locally, they are known for their natural gas utility, Laclede Gas, which has been serving our area since 1857. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nick Popielski, Vice President of Organic Growth for the Laclede Group. Thank you. And on behalf of the Laclede Group's over 3,000 employees, it is an honor to be here tonight to honor this year's dynamic group of finalists for their outstanding achievements. Our region continues to see outstanding growth in the logistics sector from advanced manufacturing to supply chain innovation to how we efficiently transport products from St. Louis to global markets. Our finalists for the Arcus Award for Achievement in Logistics have each demonstrated distinction through their exceptional work. They are at the front lines of our region's work to expand our ports, improve healthcare, educate our workforce, create new software solutions to trans transform transportation networks, and reimagine how St. Louis leverages its central location to create more jobs. Now, let's hear directly from those finalists. Our clear hope for the regional freight district is that um, in the coming years they're able to more deliberately and more effectively uh, oversee the freight system such that it can uh, operate more efficiently and ultimately it's an organization that can help um, accelerate job growth for the region I think fundamentally. Any development deal is not easy. They are a long process, and, and sometimes when you hit the paper, you, you pick it up in the morning and say, wow, I never knew that that was happening. All behind the scenes, they don't realize the five years that it took to get to that point. America's Central Port District just finished construction in 2015 of a $50 million new harbor facility right on the Mississippi River with a new rail loop that will support the movement of grain and grain byproducts to the harbor, a new conveyor system that will increase our capacities by about 30%. Uh, as well as a new general cargo dock that we hope uh, could be someday the opportunity to bring containers right on river barges to our port district. The particular type of person you get in the Midwest being very relationship orientated, as well as the neutrality of language, the education um, or the education qualities of, of people here in, the, uh, here in St. Louis make it an ideal place to expand. We are looking to put our foot on the gas, uh, expand doubling basically every year for the next four years. Um, and there is a, a phenomenal pool of people here in St. Louis to do, to do that with. Range Logistics has been able to experience the growth that we have uh, through three ways. Uh, our people, number one. Number two, uh, our focus on technology. And really, number three, uh, we take fun very seriously. Everybody works together and they're able to contribute on day one, uh, which has been really nice. So uh, we even had a kid that uh, started, after two weeks, he, we used his slogan for an ad campaign. So he really felt like he was contributing from day one. And that's, for us, that's what it's about. When you're consuming healthcare, there are supplies that are being used on you. And ROI plays an incredibly vital role in making sure that those supplies are of the highest quality, of the highest consistency, and delivered when our caregivers need them. So the caregiver can spend more time taking care of us as patients than searching for um, supplies. Uh, and it's a very noble cause. One of the things we're looking at is redefining what it means uh, to be a part of supply chain and multimodal logistics, where it used to be these very, uh, very simple definitions, but now supply chain leaders really have to focus on other things in a global environment. You have to look at social, cultural, political aspects. You have to look at things like human tra trafficking, deforestation. You have to look at regulatory laws and what it means to offshore or onshore or reshore. These are all options for a supply chain leader now. What we'd like to do is tailor our courses to the new leader in this newer supply chain that really has a much greater global impact than just getting your goods or your product from A to B. And the 
winner of the Arcus Award for Achievement in Logistics goes to America's Central Port District. Thank you very much. Wow, what a, what a great audience, what a great, uh, what a great group here tonight. Um, I can't see a thing, by the way, up here. Uh, joining me tonight up on the stage here, I've got Bill Stallman, our senior, uh, senior, excuse me, our port engineer, our senior planner, Ben McCall, and our sales manager, Frank Papa. Many thanks to go around. Uh, thank you to the Regional Chamber for this great award, a great honor tonight. Mayor John Hamm from the City of Madison and our entire Port Board of Commissioners for their support. Regions Bank, who I know is here as well, uh, State of Illinois, Maritime Administration for funding the critical, uh, that, that was critical to the completion of this project. Uh, also Ameren, Illinois, for the incredible job they did, especially during their time of emergency yesterday. I think they did a great job on both sides of the river getting the power back on. I want to also thank, this was a big project, a lot of people to, to, to thank, and unfortunately we can't mention everybody, but we had 34 different uh, design, engineering, and construction firms most based right here in St. Louis that made this project possible. SCF Marine are harbor operators for the guidance they gave during the design and construction of this, and especially thank you to the most incredible team of co-workers at America's Central Port for seeing this job through, especially our engineer, Bill Stallman. Very briefly, the completion of this Madison South Harbor is a culmination of 25 plus years of planning and construction. We're excited that we've already loaded numerous barges out of the harbor, and look forward to the day when we can in introduce containers on barge to St. Louis. Every day we try to take advantage of transportunities, yes, Ben, I said it, transportunities, and the, and the new Madison Harbor is helping. In December, the port broke ground on the construction of a new 100,000 square foot advanced chemical processing facility at the port. We look forward to many more projects in the future. Thank you very much.